Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on building Shiny apps. And in this tutorial, we will see how to download a plot in Shiny. We will be using the download button and download handler functions to download the plot. Let's go ahead and see what we are going to make today. Okay, so we see that we have the app containing the plot the plot is created using the x variable and the y variable the user can choose um, whatever column or the variable they want as the x variable and same way they can use uh, the y variable whatever they want and we also have option of file types if the user wants the plot to be saved as png it can um, it has the option of PNG or if the plot needs to be saved as PDF we also have option of it here is the plot um, download button and let me click on this uh, so we can see how it works so currently we have PNG selected so if we click on download button we we will uh, have the plot saved as PNG okay it pops up and uh, wherever we want to save the file we can choose and um, uh, select the location so I choose download plot save and here is the plot it is saved and say if I want the PDF uh, plot so I click on P I choose PDF and here it um, saves at iris.pdf and we can save the plot as PDF so this is what pretty much we are going to make in this uh, video and let's get started okay so we are in our studio and I already have uh, a little piece of code here uh, this is the this is going to be ui.r and I have the shiny UI uh, the fluid page title panel here saying download base plot in shiny uh, an example sidebar layout sidebar panel within sidebar panel I have uh, one of the drop down menu which is the select input containing the um, choices for the x variable then we have another select input uh, for the choices of uh, y variable and all these choices are from the iris data set just so let you know we also have radio button here and this uh, will give the user choice uh, to choose among the PNG or the PDF file format and uh, let's go ahead and save it so it will be ui.r and this one is gonna be um, the server.r which is uh, which is basically having just the shiny server function uh, with nothing in there we'll add on the code later on but for now just let it be as is server.r and let's go ahead and run the app okay so so far so good we have the title we have the um, x variable choices from the ice data set and the y variable choices we also have the file types to choose and now we'll work out for the plot let's go ahead and write a code for uh, the plot in server.r and also in the ui.r to display it okay let's go back so in shiny server uh, you server.r what we are going to do is we'll go and do the plot and we will have um, a x and y component and we are going to put it I've just put it X and Y for now so this will be under the render plot render plot so let us put, put this under render plot because we want to render the plot and let's have the output variable as plot so whatever the render plot is going to render or basically our plot will be assigned to the um, output variable plot 
and in the UI dot R we are going to plot that uh, I mean display that so plot output and we will say plot okay coming back to server dot R now we need the X and Y and X and Y X is variable is going to come from the user input uh, and uh, basically whatever user is choosing based on these choices will be stored in either uh, war, uh, var 1 or var 2 so let's go ahead and create a variable x here and define it using the reactive function and in the reactive function we will say this should be uh, so suppose if uh, if the uh, user chooses something it will store in var 1 so var 1 will have the user choice and so what we basically want to plot here x would be the observations of that particular column right and y would be the y variable whatever user is has chosen and its corresponding observations and since we are using iris data set so it should be iris input variable so where one will have whatever variable user is choosing so user may choose a sepal length sepal width petal length or petal width and the values will be either one two or three so if user chooses sepal length, uh, sepal, sepal length, it will be the first column. Sepal width, it will be the second column. So one, two, three is what is going to be stored in var one, and and that is what we are uh, telling uh, here um, in the reactive function. Iris all the observations of this column. Now remember that uh, var one will be uh, character type. So we need to do as dot numeric var one okay so this is going to be uh, oh, x is going to be uh, uh, the the observations of uh, that particular very uh, uh, x is going to be the observation of the variable chosen by the user for the x variable and similarly we can do a y variable as reactive and so let let us make it y and here we will make it as 2 so whatever uh, y variable uh, or column user is choosing uh, we will put it as iris we want all the observations of that particular column and then whatever are the observations we are assigning it to y and and this is all reactive function so it's now very easy what we need to put in the plot is basically the way we uh, access the reactive uh, very uh, variable is putting the braces and so that's what we are, we are doing here so in in the plot function we just call the um, reactive um, um, variable here uh, which we created above so let's go ahead and run the app uh, and we should expect a plot in there okay we see the plot uh, we need to maybe work on the x label and y label which will work on uh, let's uh, first focus on the um, on the uh, functionality for now and uh, so everything is good now let's go ahead and add a download button here okay so for that we will go to ui.r and underneath plot output we will put the download button and we do that using download and i put the tab key, press the tab key and select download button and if you see the options we have uh, argument is output id and label label is what you want to display on the um, 
uh, on the button and output id is what we are going to use in the uh, download handler in the server.r i mean this this output id is going to come from basically its output id so it, it is something which will come from the server.r so say we want the output id to be say down it has to be in inverted commas um label i want to say download the plot okay let's go ahead and run it okay it's giving error download button because i have forgotten the to put the comma here okay so we now have download the but plot button here but it is not going to do anything because we we still need to uh, work out the uh, download handler and in the server.r and so we have to do a little bit of code what would happen if we click on this button but at least we have the button so let's go ahead and do the coding for uh, download handler in uh, in the server.r okay so we will start with creating the download handler which we are going to use so that uh, the uh, plot is uh, written to a particular file and finally downloaded to our system so for that we have a function called download handler download handler and it has uh, functions file name and content is uh, these are the arguments this download handler is having these arguments and we are going to use file name and content and these are functions in in themselves so this is the download handler function and in it we have file name equals function and here we will be creating the function for file name and then we will have another argument called content and it's also another function with the argument file and here we will create the body of the function and that's pretty much the skeleton which we are going to use we are going to add on the code here but this is pretty much the skeleton and what we want to do is we want to use the output of this download handler as down that's basically the output id which we mentioned here remember we mentioned here the output id is down and this down is actually coming from this server.r uh, whatever is the outcome of download handler function underneath is stored in down and that's what is going here okay so uh, let's start with coding here what does the file name do so what we do here is basically we specify the file name so how do we want the file name to be so it may be just imagine iris.png maybe or you may want iris.pdf maybe so how we can get this we'll say paste for sure the the first part is always iris that's what we want so we'll say iris and then how to get the second part png or PDF this is coming from the UI.R and the or the input ID where 3 will contain this value either PNG or PDF so we can say comma input dollar where 3 so now it, uh, the paste function will combine iris and whatever in user selects either PNG PNG or PDF 
and in the middle we want the uh, a dot to be there so we will say separator or sep equals dot so that way we will get iris and whatever we want png or pdf and it will be separated by a dot so we will either get iris.png or iris.pdf so in this function we defined basically the file name now in the content fun fu function what we do is we actually uh, open the device so what we are going to do is we will open the device uh, where, uh, be it png or pdf and then we are also going to uh, create the plot or basically we will write the plot uh, I should say uh, we will create uh, we will open the device we will create or write the plot and we will close the device so these are the three steps you are going to do in this right so uh, opening the device how we do that so we, we will have either the PNG function or we might have the PDF function so we don't know uh, what function it would be it, it all depends uh, or sorry not the function what device it would be it would depend on what user is choosing here it may be PNG or PDF depending on what is in where 3 variable so we need to use a conditional statement here so we will say if input dollar where three okay so whatever user is choosing as file type if that equals png okay so if it is png then let's open the device png function of file okay if not else if it is not PNG then of course it will be PDF because these are the only two options we have so open PDF file so if user chooses PNG then open the PNG device else open the PDF device okay that's pretty much uh, deciding which device we need to open or where to write the file in the PNG or PDF okay so after this we need to write the plot or create the plot in this file right so plot x react x variable and y variable and this x variable and y variable is basically coming from the um, reactive functions we created here so it's, it's same as whatever uh, plot we created here just that we are using in the download handler okay so we created the step one we opened the device we created the plot and what we need to do is now we need to close the uh, device right so we will say device dot off this is pretty much uh, we are following the same steps uh, we would use in 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 doing uh, in in saving the plot um, in r so that's all uh, we have to do and, and we are in, done with the um, content function and we can go ahead and run and and test it now so run the app okay so we have the plot uh, let's click on download the plot and it gives iris.png and that's because uh, let me show you let me cancel uh, instead of canceling let me move this window here and if you see by default it was png and that's why since by default it was png uh, the name is coming as iris.png and let me save it so it got saved as iris.png and if i want it to be stored as pdf i will uh, I will choose PDF here and again click on download the plot and this time we will see iris.pdf remember that paste statement paste iris input variable um, uh, var3 and separated by dot and let's save it and this time it is saved as dot PDF so this is how we um, downloaded the plot